One of Nike's most loved daily trainers, the Nike Pegasus, has started to fall behind in recent years due to the rapid improvements in running shoe technology. However, I recently got sent a pair of the brand new Pegasus 41s, and in today's video, I'm going to see if they finally caught up with their competitors and if the improvements make them worth buying. So just before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name's Dan, and I post videos every single week about running, life, and all the things in between. The shoes into Today's video were very kindly sent to me by Pro Direct Sport. However, this video is still 100% my honest review and no one will get to see it before it's live on YouTube. Now that's out the way, let's dive straight in to talking about these shoes. So we're gonna kick things off with some rapid fire specifications for the Pegasus 41. The cost of the shoe will set you back 130 pounds in the UK or $140 in the States, unless you opt for Nike's buy you feature, in which case it's going to cost 155 pounds or 160 US dollars. I got my shoe in a UK nine and a half and they weighed in at 308 grams, which for a daily trainer is pretty darn good. The Pegasus 41s feature an upgraded midsole, which is now made out of Nike's brand new React X foam, giving you as the runner a 13% more responsive midsole compared to the previous versions. I personally have never owned any of the previous models of this shoe. However, when I took it on a run for the first time, I was not disappointed whatsoever. But we'll get onto that in a later part of the video. The shoe features a 10mm heel toe drop with 37mm of stack height in the back and 27mm in the front. The sole also features air zoom units in the forefoot and heel to pack as much energy as possible into this carbonless shoe. And last but not least, we have an upgraded top half of the shoe with a much more breathable mesh surrounding the foot. And as someone who tends to get pretty warm feet when they run, I am so thankful for this feature. To get a true first impression of this shoe, I've used it for runs, treadmill work, and in the gym, and the way it's handled everything is actually pretty impressive. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the specifications, but the upgraded signature waffle outsole is super grippy, it seems super durable, and something I still can't get my head around is... It's just so quiet. Honestly, the first thing I noticed when I took these shoes out on a run is just how quiet they are to run in. Truth be told, I've only taken them on three or four runs at the time of filming this video, but they've handled my easy and recovery runs like a dream, and they're giving me a very similar experience to what I get with my Invincible 3s. Now, they don't keep my feet feeling as refreshed as my Invincibles do, but they also don't have 40 mil worth of ZoomX foam, so I'm not really that disappointed. Pointed. They have, however, become my go-to gym shoe for literally all of my sessions ever since I received them. They're a much more natural fit and feel super supportive under my foot when I'm doing movements like deadlifts and squats. They're certainly not as flat as a Nike Metcon, but I genuinely do think that they're going to be able to hold their own as a cross-training shoe. Okay, so if I was to summarize the three things I like most about this shoe, what would they be? So first of all, the padding in this shoe is super comfortable and there's a lot of it. The Pegasus 41 features a super padded heel compartment as well as a super padded tongue and inside of the shoe. Fingers crossed this should make for a shoe which is going to be super comfy to run in and is going to look after your feet if you choose to use it for the longer sessions. Next on the likes list is that brand new upgraded midsole. By incorporating the brand new React X foam the midsole really does give so much more energy back to the runner. Not to mention it also reduces the carbon footprint print of this shoe by 43% making it a great environmental choice. And finally the stability this shoe offers is actually incredible for a whole host of reasons. I genuinely feel like I could put this shoe through most workouts and sessions and it's going to support me every step of the way. Okay so like most products in this world it's pretty hard to be perfect and the Pegasus 41s sadly have a few things I wish Nike had done differently. Firstly the cost. I used to consider the Pegasus lineup one of the best entry level shoes for beginner runners as you could usually get your hands on a pair for under £100. But £130 for a trainer like this might be pushing it ever so slightly and it might cause people to start looking at other brands. And then following on from that, in the UK we only have two colorways available on launch and those are the bright yellow ones that I have and a white and blue pair. In the US this isn't as much of an issue as for some reason 
reason you have six available colorways, but if you're in the UK, you might have to fork out for the buy you option created by Nike if you want to get your hands on a different color. So we've been through the specifications, I've told you about my first impressions of the shoe, and I've even told you what I like and dislike. So now for the all important questions, who is this shoe for and will it be going into my rotation? Well, if you're someone who is just getting into running or you run two or three times a week, this is going to be a great shoe for you. It's going to be able to handle your easy and recovery runs and will even allow you to dip your toe into the world of speed sessions without having to fork out for a carbon or nylon plated shoe. Alternatively, if you're someone who's looking for a shoe you can wear for other sports as well as running, the gym and just daily wear and tear, this is a great option. For me, this is 100% going to become my new gym shoe as it genuinely feels super stable underfoot and is a great option for me until I can invest in a proper pair of gym trainers. And along with that, I'm also going to start using it for my easy run each week as my Invincibles are very slowly coming to the end of their running lifespan. If you have any questions about the Pegasus 41s, leave them in a comment below. And as I run in the shoes more, I'll give my honest answer to each and every question. And whilst I think about it, if you can think of a better shoe in the 130 pound price range, leave it in the comments below. I'll try and get my hands on a pair and do a head-to-head -head review. That's all from me today. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this from me in the future. I upload videos here on YouTube every single Saturday at 6 p.m. about all things running, life, and everything in between. I hope you all have a smashing day and I'll catch you all next Saturday at 6 p.m. You know the saying by now, no bad days. Ooh, uh, uh,